Do you find that your slice tool doesn't work at removing pigment from your drawings as you would want it to? The first thing to remember is that the slice tool or any craft knife will not work with all brands of paper. It works beautifully on Clairefontaine pastel mat and on drafting film, but other surfaces can be a little bit more tricky. For example, the slice tool or a craft knife will work on most brands of hot press paper, but not all of them. And you'll need to make sure that you have a good coverage of a lightly colored base layer down as the slice tool will only remove that pigment back to the very first layer of pencil on the paper. You'll want to make sure that your first layer is the color that you want to see when you've removed those upper layers of pencil. For example, if you want light colored wispy hairs on a drawing of a dog, you'll need to have made sure that you've put that light color onto the paper first before layering other colors on top. You can then remove the upper layers of the pencil by drawing those wispy hairs in with the slice tool or the craft knife and those fine details that you're drawing in will be the color that you want. If your slice tool doesn't work for you even though you're sure that it works with your surface that you're drawing on and you've got that base layer down when working on something like the hot press paper you might just want to check that your blade in your slice tool isn't blunt. You can see here that this slice tool is removing very little pigment, if anything at all actually, even though this drawing is on pastel mat and the slice tool should work beautifully with this surface. You can easily check to see if your blade is blunt or not. Take your slice tool and on one end you'll find a mark which looks like this. Gently twist the end of the tool as far as it will go so that it separates the two sides of that mark. Note though, you will need the white cutting part fully retracted and back in the barrel of the slice tool before you can do this. You can then lift off the end of the tool and push the cutting part forward so that you can get to it. The white bit will be sitting in a little holding channel and that white part, the bit that's used for cutting, is actually double-sided. So you've already got a replacement inside your slice tool. All you need to do is take out the white part, turn it over, turn it around and locate it back into its channel. Retract the white part back inside the barrel of the slice tool, push the end of the tool back on and relocate the two sides of that mark so that they join up again. This has given you a brand new cutting edge. And if your blade was blunt, it'll now work beautifully on your drawings again. And if your slice tool still isn't working, you'll need to go back and check that you're working on a surface that works with the slice tool. And if you are working on something like hot press paper, check that you do have a good base layer down first in your chosen color. And that's it. That should hopefully help if your slice tool has stopped working as it should do. If you have any questions, then let me know in the comments. I really hope this video was helpful. And if it was, let me know by giving it a like. And if you want more tips and tutorials, subscribe and turn those notifications on. And if you want to follow along with the full tutorials for the projects that you've seen in this video, then head on over to the art membership over on my website. You'll find these tutorials along with many more over there. And I'll leave a link for that in the description. Okay, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.